Hey guys, Tim here from MalaysianBayBatic.com. Have a new review for you guys, and today I have a dripper. Okay, a dripper for you guys, and um, this is sent to me for free uh, for review, and I got this from Nicholas Ling. Link will be there here down below, and this is the dripper. It's called the CEO RDA. Uh, originally, this is made by uh, Celtic Mods. That's what I uh, saw on the website. And you know, not much people are talking about this dripper. Okay, for me, um, the dripper actually looks really good. Uh, you have different, basically has three different airflow control colors. You can get copper, stainless steel, and brass. Uh, for me, brass looks the best because it just looks nice. Okay, it's a very simplistic design, but a very solid design in my opinion. Uh, airflow control ring, uh, suitable for dual or even uh, single air hole. And it's a it's a RDA, okay? It's a RDA with a really really nice look to it. In my opinion, probably the best looking uh, RDA I ever had. And yeah, you know, uh, let's have a vape and let's go for close up and show you how you how the deck looks like and all those stuff, and then we'll see how it vapes like. So hey guys, I have here the CEO uh, RDA. And to be honest with you, this is a very good looking atomizer, okay? Uh, one of the better looking ones uh, I've seen. Uh, the concept is very simple. It has a Dalrin insulator here so your drip tip doesn't heat up when you vape, okay? You have a screwable, unscrewable top cap here. You can see the dome there, it is pretty much reduced, okay? It is very reduced. And your coil is in there. Uh, it's a four post uh, design and this here is your airflow control ring okay and it cut does come with a box if you guys are wondering and the box is you know fairly simple it comes with two airflow control rings if you guys want to change it stainless steel and also copper I don't use the copper because I don't have any mods that actually uh, have copper kind of accents to it okay let me get a screwdriver out because I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is. Okay, this is just the typical screwdriver, nothing else. Comes with a drip tip, but this drip tip for some reason does not fit the mod at all. Okay, and yeah, nothing much to talk about there. And this is the well, okay, the bottom. You guys can see that it has an engraving. It says CEO0126 is my serial number. The coil just sits there. And this deck is quite... Uh, interesting because it's a four post deck let's show you close up if it, it'll take me okay just show you guys the deck for a bit okay look at that your wire basically sits inside here and also it gets trapped under the screw okay uh, it gets trapped under the screw so that's a quite of a weird design you need to actually use a bit of a thicker wire maybe 26 gauge a uh, 28 gauge works but 26 gauge or what Nicholas uh, recommend me is to use flat 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 wire okay flat cantle um, he actually sells it so you guys can get it from him if you guys want to because I, f I find like uh, this kind of flat cantle works the best okay this type of flat cantle um, so I just did a normal build like focus 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 about like a uh, 8 rep I think I get I'm getting 0 0.7 ohms and it's it's uh, working really well okay the juice well is actually quite deep I've stuffed quite a lot of cotton there's a very simple bill you just have to trap um, your wire on this okay so the deck is just like that it holds a lot of juice okay it's a what I believe is a 5 millimeter juice well so um, that's that's cool uh, it has the airflow according to the website is an eight millimeter airflow okay and when you take off the ring you guys can see there's one slot here one slot here and one slot here so there's three air airflow slots for you to build like you know dual coil if you want dual coil or even quad coil i think it's possible you can switch like this is um i'll just put it together to show you guys screws on the build quality is decent okay the, the 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 poles does not move at all copper adjustable pin 
it's not really adjustable I think and I've never tried to adjust it because most of my mods are self adjusted so you just twist it the ring is pretty easy to adjust okay pretty easy so this is full open dual and you twist it again now it's still full open Wait. yeah this one so this is open now this is closed okay you can set your airflow according to your liking you can put it all the way like this so it's small and all the way like this when it's big okay and I, I usually put it on my I just put it on my uh, vapor shark and it works well okay it works really well so yeah that's about it for the close-ups okay um, single dual uh, the airflow is easy to adjust it's quite loose but you know it's it's quite easy to adjust it's not that difficult it's a very good looking you know clipper to be honest with you with my uh, vicious and drip tip it looks it looks really nice okay so yeah let's go and see uh, how it beeps like hey guys I'm back and this is the review okay um first off I would say uh, this when I first got this uh, there was a bit of a uh, machining oil on it so it has a machine uh, oil smell I put it into boiling water. I wash. I pull it through th uh, boiling water three times to actually clean it all out, and now it's working fine. Fairly easy uh, deck to build. Okay, all those from in my opinion four post decks are the easiest to build. But this one, you know, because they use the screw to actually catch your wire, that's a bit annoying. But it works with flat, no problem. Uh, Cantal. I, like round wires I prefer you guys use a bit of a thicker gauge like maybe 24 or 26 gauge that will be decent and single coil because you know I'm a single coil fan I don't really like to build dual coil I try not to go low ohms because for devices like you know if you have an IPV a DNA I'm using the VaporShock DNA 40 here if you have a, 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 a device that is regulated there's no reason why you need to go sub ohm okay uh, because well 1.8 ohm coil your chip is well more than capable of producing the same amount of vapor uh, on a low ohm coil okay so if you guys use mechanical mods then of course you need to go uh, lower uh, this is a 0.77 ohm to be exact on the dna i'm giving it 22 watts okay both air holes open Vapor production is good. Okay, this thing can chuck the vapor, no issues whatsoever. You guys want to see it firing? It's firing just good. Okay, it's it's working really well. On single air hole, uh, it's probably my favorite setup because you get like the flavor, like really really nice flavor. Okay, I can close the air hole almost all the way, just like a small inch, and you can do like you know those small to lung inhales. it like a K fan and the flavor on this dripper is amazing okay I never even heard of this dripper before and then when Nicholas put it on the table I looked at it I was like what's this and it's like the CEO he called it and I had to do like a Google search and this is a pretty darn fantastic dripper I have never tried a lot of drippers I never tried the plume veil I never tried the zenith but from what I saw from Todd's review okay uh, this clone is a better it's almost a it, the flavor production is the same compared to like the Zenith okay so with that being said I think it's pretty decent because the Zenith is quite highly rated and of course this unscrewable top cap it has this uh, really dome reduced chamber and the reduced chamber really works fantastically well okay the threading is actually pretty done good in my opinion um, so yeah the flavor on this thing is it's it's good very very good flavor um one of the better uh, flavored drippers i've ever tried compared to like you know the old ones this one is really really nice um no no complaints whatsoever it looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion one of the i would say in my opinion i think the very is a very good looking dripper and this one is right up there and with the brass airflow control and even the copper if you guys want if you guys have like a full copper mod that will look absolutely stunning with this okay 
so yeah um the delrin insulator works uh, my drip tape never gets hot i can just fire it all day long vapes really really fantastic well um it, it holds quite amount of a lot of juice okay you can put a lot of cotton in this because the deep the juice well is what um five mil so you can put a lot of juice in this thing a uh, leaking do I, did i experience any leaking um not really but i do uh, get a bit of leaking uh on just the connection part like you know just a bit from the top cap uh like few drops max so leaking is not an issue i don't really get much leaking uh, out of this uh this this atomizer flavor on this is really really superb okay uh fantastic um vapor production is fantastic the throat hit is of course depending on your juice i'm vaping some six milligram mango juice here it vapes fantastic okay fantastic in my opinion a very good dripper if you guys like the looks you guys dig the looks uh no no reason why you should not get this dripper okay it's also something different because a lot of people have like all the plume veil clones uh, everyone has the veritas everyone has the magma you want something different you want something people will look and say hey what dripper is that so this is one of those that you know not a lot of people know about but it works fantastically well very very good dripper in my opinion okay i don't really drip much but this is a dripper i would actually use because of the looks okay i would use it for because of the looks and the performance uh looks more than performance so yeah that's about it for this review i hope you guys like it where i got this uh this was sent to me for free for review by nicholas link link will be here uh, you can get it from him the price i'm not really sure it should be around the normal uh dripper clone dripper price mark about like 20 30 dollars maximum okay so yeah that's about it for this review i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh yeah stay tuned subscribe like this video i have a lot of atomizers coming the orchid the squape um the aspire atlantis of course and all those stuff so yeah thanks for watching as usual go to my page facebook.com slash for more reviews and peace out